Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to review some of the cross-site scripting uh, automated tool and we are going to see which one of them are actually, you know, can be used to bypass web application firewalls. Okay, but before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have showed you all that how we can use SQL map more effectively that will ultimately help us to find more vulnerabilities then go ahead and check it out the link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen and now with that being said let us get started so if you all follow me on LinkedIn then you know that I have recently discovered a Cloudflare bypass XSS payload right that is basically used to bypass most of the Cloudflare web application firewalls okay so now let us try to go ahead and use the same target and this time let's try to see that how many tools are actually going to detect that particular vulnerability which is cross site scripting on the particular target and we're also going to see that the period which they are giving are actually you know valid or not okay so let's go ahead and test some of those for that we're going to use three tools okay first tool that we're going to use is xss strike okay the second tool that we're going to use is known as Dalfox. It is one of the most common tools that bug bounty hunters as well as penetration tester use these days. And the third tool is a paid tool. Okay. So that you can also use that. So the third tool is, you know, a recent developed tool, which is known as Ibrahim XSS. So it is developed by Ibrahim. And this tool also claims to, you know, find vulnerability even if the application is behind the application firewalls. So let us go ahead and test all of these tools and let's see how much uh, these tools will, you know, help us to find cross site scripting vulnerabilities on real world target. Let's get started. First thing first, let us go ahead and install Dalfox into our machine and then let's try to see how we can do that. So here we have uh, my terminal over here. I'm simply going to install Dalfox. So you can, if you are on Ubuntu, just go ahead and type snap install Dalfox. Okay like this in my case it is saying that dialfox is already the newest version which means that it is already installed right in your case going to start the installation process so once dialfox is installed what we need to do is we are simply going to choose the target okay and the website name on which we are going to test for cross site scripting is techtarget.com okay so remember we are not doing anything you know fishy over here so we are just discovering the vulnerability we are not actually exploiting it so let's try to go ahead and use techtarget.com going to copy the link here and let us paste it in this browser so as you can see we have this and let me show you that if uh, i type any any type of you know uh, xss payload the web application firewall will get triggered okay like script alert one script tag close okay as you can see, it is saying that you have you are unable to access the techtarget.com. Okay, so now I have discovered a particular payload that can actually use to bypass this. But now let's try to see that how many automated tools or which one of these tools can be used to buy, you know, can be used in these particular scenarios. Okay, I'm just going to type a random value here, and then first thing first, let's try to go ahead and use Dialfox. Let's go ahead and type echo, paste the link, type Dialfox minus pipe. Hit enter and let's see if it can discover the particular payload. Sorry, the particular uh, what you can say uh, vulnerability or not. Let me see if we can how we can use the tool. Okay, just give me a second. I just need to remove this and type pipe. Yeah, and now as you can see, it has started the you know uh, vulnerability discovery. Let's wait for a few seconds and let's see what we'll get after a few seconds. Okay, so as we all can see here, we have got POC right over here. Let's copy one of them. I'm just going to copy this. And as you can see, nothing has executed right over here. Let's try to go ahead and use this one and again we can see nothing has been executed okay so this particular uh, tool is giving us some false positive results that this is what we can say from here okay both of the, the scan is actually resulted in false positive results and as you can see it is also saying that these many characters are reflecting as it is okay which basically means that there are chances of 
uh, cross site scripting vulnerability in my previous videos as well i already told you all that if you want to find cross site scripting then what we all need to do is we need to look for the dangerous characters and if they are reflecting as it is the chances are that we can bypass it or we can execute excesses but over here we have one you know uh, trouble something over here which is cloudflare web application firewall no issues let's try to go ahead and use another tool which is xss strike so now let us go ahead and install xss strike into our machine so i'm just going to type just open an incognito tab here xss strike github just click on this one Let us clone this into our machine. Here we are. So we need to install this requirements.txt file. Let's go ahead and do that. Pick three. Okay, and as you can see, it says that requirement is already satisfied. Let's type python 3 xss strike minus minus help and let's see how we can use the tool. So you can see we have this option minus u over here. So I'm simply going to use this tool like python 3 xss strike minus u and again we're going to paste the link. Let's copy this from here. I'm going to paste it and let us hit enter. So again it is going to look for vulnerabilities and i can see as you can see over here it is saying that potential vulnerable objects found okay and it is also detected the web application firewall let's see if it can give us any you know payloads that we can use to bypass the web application firewall okay so as you can see the scan has been now completed and again we didn't got any valid results over here Okay, so which means that XSS strike was not able to, you know, bypass this web application firewall as well. Okay. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is let's try to go ahead and use this Ibrahim XSS tool. And let's see whether it can bypass the web application firewall and can give us the payload which we can use to, you know, uh, find cross site scripting. Okay, so you can see right over here, this is the website of Ibrahim XSS dot store. So basically, it is a paid a tool okay so for those who are you know who don't want to invest any money on any tool so you can just leave it as it is but for those who are willing to see that if this tool is working or not so in my case it has worked and let me show you by just live, live example okay so you can just go to my products fine and then you can see we have these three plans over here the professional plan the basic plan the golden plan the business plan as well okay so it depends on your use case for example you can go with this uh, basic plan okay so let's try to go ahead and see that how we can you know use this tool in action and first of all how we can download this okay so first you need to buy any of these plans once you'll do that you simply need to you know uh, like let me just click on this one just to give you an example uh, you simply need to click on this purchase a basic plan and then it will redirect you to the payment gateway uh, over here and you just need to specify the email address which you are going to use later on to you know log in into this application fine that's what you need to do and once you are logged in and once you have buyed the particular plan you'll also get an api key on your email address okay let me show you how we can do that so first of all i already have an account on this particular platform so i'm just going to do a quick login and then i'm going to show you how the api will look like okay Okay, so as you can see, once you are logged in into your uh, account, you'll see something like this. You'll have the plan, whatever plan you have opted for. For example, I have the golden plan. I can simply click on this. Okay, and then, uh, you know, you can see that we have the file over here. And simply we need to download these files. Okay, that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and download this golden plan. Okay, and then you can also see tools command authenticated. Okay. So in my case, I'm just going to download this golden plan. Let's wait for a few seconds. Here you can see, I'm just going to save it right over here. Once it is saved, let's wait for a few seconds. 
and now once it is saved what we need to do is let's go back here is the file i think let me just do a quick refresh here's the golden plan i'm just going to extract this okay and after the extraction is completed we can simply go to this right over here and then you can see we have a lot of files over here we have xss checker for linux and windows so i'm just going to go and use this for windows okay and we have a lot of sample data as well that you can use fine so i'm not going to go and check that and you can see we have these files over here so first thing that we need to do is we need to install this chrome chrome setup as well as this chrome driver okay so let us go ahead and do that wait for a few seconds and you can see right over here we have google chrome installed i'm just going to close this and the second thing that we're going to do is let's install this chrome driver okay and you can see it's saying that chrome driver was started successfully let's minimize this okay and the last thing that we're going to do is let's execute this xss checker and then see how we can use this tool I'm just going to type cmd over here and then xsschecker.exe hit enter and we can see how we can use this tool use this tool right over here right so you can see so checker the get request the url file and the payload file so i think they have given the payload file right over here as well and then simply we are going to just hit enter okay so that's what we needed to do so let's create a file for example just going to type test.txt test.txt and then i'm going to copy this link and i'm simply going to paste it inside the test.txt file okay just like this and let's go ahead and use this tool so xss checker get get minus minus url test.txt my, sorry, my, my, my payload payload and then uh, we can type the payload file payload.txt hit enter let's wait for a few seconds okay so you can see what it says that operation url is not allowed on this plan let me just go ahead and execute this exercise checker again and let's see if we can again we are getting this error okay sorry so we again need to go and type urls okay i think it should work now yeah finally it has started so let's wait a few seconds and let's see whether we can get any vulnerability out of this tool or not okay so you can see it is giving us a lot of vulnerability i guess let's wait for it to complete then okay okay so you can see we've got something in the screen uh, value over here i'm just going to stop this right now okay since we've got the value and you can see we've also got the report right over here. once we have stopped the tool we've got this report and let's click on this and let's see whether we'll get the alert executed or not i'm just going to copy this link address and let's open this in our browser here paste and go wait a few seconds okay and as you can see we've got something but i think it is a false positive i guess because there is some uncaught reference let's see if we've got any other payload from here or not okay so let me go ahead do go ahead and do one thing i'm just going to hit enter and then we'll wait for it to continue and finish okay and then we'll see if it, it is able to bypass or give us a proper payload or not okay okay so as you can see the scan is completed now and we've got a lot of payloads actually right so why not let's go ahead and use one of them i'm just going to use this one for example okay and let's see if we are getting the alert one actually or not just paste it right over here uh, in my microsoft page actually paste it let's hit enter let's wait and let's see if we are getting the alert one okay and as you can see we've got the alert one right over here so we have tried this three tools and out of that only one tool was able to find this proper payload let's try to change this from alert one to document.cookie document.cookie let's wait and as you can see we are getting the cookies information as well which basically means that this payload is actually working and this tool was actually able to detect 
the particular vulnerability without any issues so yeah this is what i have found from this uh, you can also see from my uh, research as well that i have used three tools and out of which this only tool this was the only tool which was able to find this particular vulnerability which is a great thing okay so if anyone is planning to buy this tool then i think uh, you should go for it okay but yeah it totally depends on your budget and all those things and for those who are actually you know actually want to buy this particular tool so i have talked with mr ibrahim and he was generous enough to give uh, our subscriber a decent 10 percent discount so you can just go ahead and use this coupon be practical 10 and then you'll get 10 percent discount on this particular tool okay so yeah if anyone is interested in buying this tool then yeah please go ahead and do that and i have also given you the coupons so just go ahead and you can use this tool okay now if you'll have any queries related to the tool or how you can install the tool and how we can do the rest of the things so i'm just attaching the mr ibrahim's uh, linkedin profile in my description so you can just go ahead and connect with him and then you can just resolve all of your queries and now with that being said if you have any doubts or any issues uh, related to cross scripting or any other thing you can just let me know in the comment section and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thank you so much for watching